Hey guys, Leif here from ATEC. Today I'm going to show you how we can enable scan to email using uh, uh, two-factor authentication and uh, Microsoft 365 on our Konica Minolta BIS Hub. So this is now available and this is a really big deal I think. Uh, it's available on all the i-series given that you have the latest firmware. So this has really just been released. Uh, we're in Australia and it was only last week this firmware was released. And I'm going to show you, we've already got this loaded here, but when I go into utility and device information and scroll down a page, I can see this is the currently the latest firmware. So the last digits is what you refer to as the GC2RF. So it must be this firmware or newer. This is not a special firmware of any kind. This is a mass release and it's now available. So uh, now let me show you how we configure this. Uh, we're going to go into administrator and I'm going to go through it quickly not to make the video too long log into admin and the first thing you're going to do is uh, all the traditional stuff we're going to go into system settings and machine setting make sure you have the email uh, entered in here this will be the from email of the, the device and this must be the same email as we're going to do the authentication on. So put those in, then we're going to go back, we're going to go into network and we're going to go to email setting and SMTP setting. And in here, we're going to put in, make sure we've put in the traditional stuff. The SMTP server must be smtp.office365.com and we want to enable start TLS and port 587. So once we've done all this, we can, and I've already pre-filled it and saved it. We're now going to go scroll down and this is the new exciting bit here. We have OAuth 2.0, which is the modern authentication or 2FA. We're going to turn that on and then we're going to go to uh, uh, select Microsoft as the provider we also have Google as the provider and we're gonna go OK when I go OK it'll now uh, direct me to the login screen so it'll say you'll be directed to the OAuth screen so I'll hit OK on that and we get the uh, Microsoft login screen And it's now asking, so see, it's got the username there, which is the email address I put in before. Uh, then I'm going to type in my password and sign in. And it's now going to ask me to uh, approve sign in. So I've got my phone here, authenticator notification. I'm going to hit on there, approve my sign in and number 26. Yes. And wait for that to complete. It'll say acquired, hit OK, OK to save. And it's now completed. I can log out of there. And if I go back to my home screen, uh, if I do a test scan now, scan, send to, I've already got my own email set up here. and that's gone straight away just one note on this uh, now you see i could scan successfully no problems when i first did it as a trial i got a scan error straight away with a server connection error quite likely you're going to get exactly the same problem as i had i'll put it in the comments below but uh, the one final step to make this all happen is to go into microsoft uh, 365 admin console under the user and you have to enable SMTP authentication. So it's under the user email app settings. I'll put it all in the comments. You have to tick it because it's uh, unticked by default. Good luck.